All right, what's going on, you guys? We have the part two of that last video. What you're going to be doing now is you're going to download the QR code on the back of the instruction manual. After reading the parts on how to install the device, the last page is going to have a QR code for you to scan here. And from there, you're going to press and hold the ringer on here for five seconds. Sorry guys, that's just me showing that the video will work now. It takes a few times to get it to work, um, but when it finally does connect to your phone, it's good to go. When it finally does show up on your phone and you log into your account through the video doorbell app, through that QR code, you're going to have the options to modify the password, group management, remove the device, reset the Wi-Fi, there's a more tab to look at other firmware options, the firmware update at the bottom and the about tab when your device is ready to go after getting it through the setup forewarning the setup may take a few tries to get it took me about three or four and once it's good to go when somebody does ring the doorbell they'll press that button and the next thing you'll see is this you will say a visitor when you answer pressing the green button it just shows you pretty much what's on the other side of that video camera so, basically that's all there is to it. For more information when you're going through it on the opposite side of how to install it onto the wall, it takes you step by step on what to do, which you would first tap in and put in your Wi-Fi password and your Wi-Fi account. It will then send you to connect the Bluetooth screen. You may have to go from this screen and then back into the screen where it says connect and back into it before it finally does connect and all together it just lets you know that this is where your review video your recorded videos will show up of the people that have showed up to your phone after you've answered there's a few shared users there's the motion detection this cloud and local video recording and then the pamphlet pretty much says the rest about the rest of the features available for it. Again, this doesn't take any kind of batteries whatsoever. It claims to use it for about 180 days on a single charge. And so all you have to do is just recharge it when it gets low again. If you guys have any other questions, like, comment, or subscribe at the bottom. And thank you for watching the video.